Oh, hello there. Yes, I'm making this and I'm being a little but bit of a jerk while I'm making this. But November 18th of this year, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet releases and I'm going to be doing a 24 hour stream and I would like to see you all there. That's right. November 18th. That's a Friday 24 hour stream. I will be doing it and I will be having fun. So come on by. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, do all that stuff, and yeah, we'll have fun. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be talking about something that's been trending all weekend long. Granted, sometimes it's dropped off, and but for the most part, it's been happening. Recast T'Challa. It has been trending all weekend long and people really want, want this to happen because they are not happy with what happened in Wakanda forever. And I personally don't blame them. There is... In the movie, they use Chadwick Boseman's passing... As a plot point, the exact way he passed, it became a plot point, and it, it suffered because of that. You could have done a decent send-off for Chadwick and everything like that, but people want T'Challa. They understand that T'Challa is the character, Chadwick is the actor. So, why don't we just get into this, because there's some... There's a few tweets I'm not going to be able to read, but this article does direct all the tweets. So, the recast T'Challa movement to replace the late Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther has emerged again after the release of Black Panther Wakanda Forever because they want T'Challa. Rewind to August 2020 amid the ex exiting struggle of the existing struggle of the pandemic, Marvel Studios was placed in the in its toughest position yet, following the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman. This left fans divided between recasting the actor, replacing T'Challa in the mantle, or ending Wakanda franchise altogether. Now, they weren't going to end the Wakanda franchise. They weren't going to end Black Panther. They want Black Panther. But the correct move was to recast T'Challa. Because, and we've used this time and time again, Marvel's already recast actors. You recast Rhodey with... Oh, I can't remember the, the initial guy's name. And I cannot remember the guy who recast them off the top of my head. But you recast Rhodey. You've recast other characters throughout the MCU. And we just had an example of them recasting somebody with Thunderbolt Ross. The actor who played him passed away unexpectedly because of a heart attack and you're having Harrison Ford come in to replace him. Recasts happen. People die. But now you are telling us that, hey, Chadwick Boseman was T'Challa. So because Chadwick Boseman died, we need, we can't recast him, even though you really can. This is an example of them putting the actor before the character when even Chadwick Boseman's family, which I have, I believe, pulled up right here, Chadwick, Chadwick's, Bo, uh, can't speak. Chadwick Boseman's brother, Derek Boseman, has spoken out against the idea of retiring the character of T'Challa, rather than recasting. He believes that his brother wouldn't have been so egotistical as to wanting the character to die with him, and would instead want the character's journey to continue. And that's a fantastic point. You, what you are doing is saying, hey, the character is less important than the actor. The character is really important. People love this character. You speak a lot about representation and how seeing yourself really does matter, but people feel hurt without seeing them. You get these pictures, you know, young young men looking upon Black Panther, how, how they idolized him, and this, I have to say... It is really touching how these people saw him. But I saw this heartbreaking picture. If I can find it and pull it up. And it, right here. It This broke my heart when I saw it. You know, you see this young kid looking upon Black Panther with everybody around. That That's sad. 
And people are sad. Pe Nobody's happy Chadwick died. But they want T'Challa. They, they want T'Challa to remain. They don't want Shuri now. They want T'Challa. They idolize T'Challa. T'Challa is their character. I don't like saying it like that, but that's how they view it. That's how people view it. They view it as their Superman. And not recasting him dug a hole in their heart. Obviously, Marvel Studios opted to continue the Black Panther franchise without Bozeman with Wakanda Forever, now serving as a tribute to the actor's legacy. Part of the process involved passing on the torch of protecting Wakanda to another, which has long been suspected to be Letitia Wright's Shuri, and it was. And before somebody comes into my comment section and says, Oh no, I didn't watch the movie. Oh no, I didn't do this. Oh no. I did watch the movie. I know what happens in the mid credit scene. You have T'Challa has a son now named T'Challa Jr. So people are saying, see, they recast T'Challa. They have all this massive plan to have T'Challa Jr. take up the mantle of Black Panther. But that's not the same. And also, that's not what they want. They want a new main T'Challa. They want T'Challa Jr. to have a father. But, you know, you can't have, you can't have that. Now, after the long-awaited opening weekend of Wakanda Forever, the new status quo of the mantle has been revealed. Bozeman's T'Challa has tragically died of illness, of, of illness, while his sister Shuri has assumed the mantle of Black Panther while Winston Duke's M'Baku takes on the throne. Can we, can we point that out, though? You have T'Challa die of a mysterious illness that nobody can cure and nobody knew he was sick until the last minute. Similar to Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing of cancer. Again, it is not good. Uh, I still am sorry that Chadwick left. That was tragic and it hurt. It hurt a lot of people. And But you can't retire a character because Ch the actor passed away. That's not how that works. But that's not quite the entire picture as T'Challa was revealed to have had a son given the Wakanda name of Prince T'Challa. With Lupta Nyogo's Nakia, this handling of a difficult situation has led to glowing reactions from most fans, but not everyone is quite happy with Marvel Studios. Oh yeah, there, yeah, yeah, a lot of people are happy that you have T'Challa Jr., including... Including a crybaby. Talking about you, Kevin Smith. You cried because there's a little T'Challa now that doesn't have a father. Yeah. No father figures. Can't have fathers. This has led to the resistance from supporters of the recast T'Challa movement. As the topic has trended on Twitter through November 12th over the opening weekend implying some fans aren't happy with Wakanda Forever's plot handling T'Challa's death. No, they aren't. In fact, if I double check, uh, no, not right now, but for off and on all weekend, recast T'Challa was trending. It was consistently from Friday night all the way till this morning because it stopped trending now, but it was trending constantly. And I don't blame people. And now they give us some of these tweets and we'll read through the, a lot of them. And some of them I can't read because let's be fair, some people decide to use colorful language. <clears throat> Bronze Struggler questioned the logic behind T'Challa's death. Nothing the lack of proper explanation for how a man with so many superpowers died. Explain to me why a <clears throat> word with so super strength, speed, durability, sense, and resistance to disease born in the most technologically advanced nation in the world dies. The movie didn't explain it. Hashtag save T'Challa. Hashtag recast T'Challa. Juice, I'm not even going to try to say that one. Kira. 
suggested Marvel Studios may be financially benefiting from Chadwick Boseman's passing by using the movies as an opportunity for fans to grieve. I actually agree. I agree with that statement wholeheartedly. It really did feel like they were just using his passing as a plot point and saying, hey, feel the pain again. Feel that pain again. Acknowledge that Chadwick's dead. Hashtag recast T'Challa. The MCU should not use this the passing of Chadwick Boseman as a plot. A good marketing tactic to its relate is to relate to our emotions. The MCU is benefiting financially from our emotions because of some of us going to see the movie is also an opportunity for us to grieve. The user included an ex explanation of their take on the recast T'Challa movement, calling the, for the studio not to use Bozeman's death as a plot device in their fictional storytelling. Hashtag re recast T'Challa is not calling for an immediate recast. Hashtag recast T'Challa is not preventing anyone else from taking up the mantle of Black Panther. Hashtag recast T'Challa is asking Marvel Studios not to use the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman as a plot device in the fictional storytelling. Hashtag T'Challa recast T'Challa is asking for the portrayal of T'Challa to be allowed to continue in the MCU. People want T'Challa. So what do you, what is your decision? You don't give it to them. You give him T'Challa Jr., which you have Kevin Smith crying over, but that's still not T'Challa. That you're just that's what I'm trying to say. That's T'Challa Jr. That's his son. That's not the T'Challa people wanted. People want T'Challa. And you come down here, and I, I love this example from KJ Star, Starwalker. Starwalker? Eh. Shared the frustration that one of the new black superheroes was killed after only one solo outing in the MCU. And the it's right. Batman, constantly recast. Immortal, immortal character. Superman, constantly recast. Shout out to Henry Cavill. Oh, I love him. Immortal character. Spider-Man, recast three times immortal character we had one black male superhero and y'all killed him after one movie nah son wakanda not forever hashtag recast t'challa that's actually a valid point that's a valid ex example and like i said they just recast thunderbolt ross he's now going to be henry uh not henry harrison ford you have multiple superman you have multiple batman you have Three Spider-Man. We just had a movie where they brought the other two Spider-Man onto the mainstream to interact with everybody. You're telling me you couldn't recast T'Challa because they didn't want to. And there's this rumor going around of why they didn't want to. And it plays into the uh into the MCU. And it's I, I think it's very fitting. The idea basically was that they were always going to recap. They were always going to diminish T'Challa and uplift Shuri. And they just utilized the opportune time of Chadwick's passing to make Shuri Black Panther. That was always what this rumor says. That was always the case. Do I believe it? Yeah, I do. I do believe that rumor to be factual. I think that might be an accurate depiction of what's happened what happened and they just it shows the corporate greed and why i don't like corporatism because corporatism doesn't care and they continue on with all this there was a there was a very good thing and if i could find it it, it one of these said something super cool that i don't fully agree with but it was on the it it I'm going to paraphrase it, but it was saying T'Challa and Black Panther were our Superman. It was from a individual and that they didn't want you and you killed them off so fast. They wanted their T'Challa. And it's sad. I, I have to say it is sad to see that they're not going to get what they wanted. And people are using the idea of young 
T'Challa Jr. as, well, you got what you wanted. No, that's not what they wanted. You're ignoring them. You're ignoring the character. They wanted their character, and you killed off their character in an instant. Welcome to the fan club. Well, welcome to the club. Uh, we have cookies every Wednesday. But I, I, I feel for the people that lost T'Challa. I feel for Chadwick Boseman's passing, but people wanted T'Challa, and you should have just given them T'Challa. Will fans warm up to the MCU's new Black Panther? No matter what fans may think, Letitia Wright Shuri is now the MCU's Black Panther. They don't have to accept it. They can refuse to watch it. That That's, that's the logical fallacy that this starts saying. They assume the MCU is guaranteed to continue making this money. The MCU is not guaranteed. People can just say, well, we're not going to watch it now. You killed off our T'Challa. We're not going to watch it. Letitia Wright is not our Black Panther. That's as simple as that. Th this is where you assume this move is going to make the money. It'll make money. But this is assuming that they're going to continue giving it and like they're forced to give them money. No, they, they can say, no, I'm not doing this anymore. And Marvel Studios will not be recasting T'Challa, at least in a traditional sense. Sure, he may only be six years old, but there is now an incarnation of T'Challa in the MCU. And he is the son of a deceased king of Wakanda hero and a Wakandan hero. Perhaps he may have a young Avengers career ahead first, but one day T'Challa Jr. could be an Avenger himself. That's assuming that the MCU lasts that long. That, that's taking a lot of assumptions into the mix. Leading Wakanda and protecting his nation. But first, Shuri will almost certainly be holding on to her position for a while and will likely be playing heavily into the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Yeah, Secret Wars. That's, that's going to be an interesting depiction. Because there's a lot of theories that Secret Wars might finally be what completely resets marvel because uh newsflash as i did on one of my videos earlier this we early late last week disney's hemorrhaging money hand over fist they are losing tons of money and in my later video for today there's a good chance that in the next three years or so Disney might have to completely change strategy. So the Secret Wars might help save Marvel, might do something. Highly doubt it. Disney ain't going to turn anytime soon. And the more you push stuff like this that people don't like, the more money you're going to lose. And with that, guys, give me your thoughts down in the comments below. Did you see Wakanda Forever? Do you agree with the recast T'Challa movement? I, I honestly, I thought we should have, but... With that, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with all your friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.